Today I want to talk about a question that one of the YouTube subscribers wanted to investigate because in my MQL5 Advanced Bollinger Bands video I have used the close price of the current candle in my code and the question of Capra Bianca is how can you calculate the price info for the current candle? because the close price in our minds is the last tick for the current bar and after that tick the next bar would be candle zero and as humans we would like to see the close price after a candle has been closed. On the current chart here the candle that is actually created is candle zero and it shows a close price of 83.630 and that is actually the calculated value here. So if we have a value for the close price here and if we don't see a new candle, how is the price here actually calculated? To solve this riddle we click on the little button here or press F4 to bring up the meta editor. And in the meta editor you want to click on File, New, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue. I will call this one Simple Close Price. Click on Continue, Continue, Finish and remove everything except the onTick function. And that includes the two command lines here. And the first thing to do is to use MQL rates to create an array for the price information on the chart. And with array set as series we are going to sort our price information array from the current candle to the oldest candle. And now we use copy rates to actually fill the array for the current symbol on the chart and the currently selected period on the chart from the current candle zero for all the available bars that are displayed for the current symbol and the current period on a chart and we will put the result into our price information array. Well you might want to remember this expression here because it will give you all the price data for all the bars that are currently available for the currency pair on your chart. It will give you all the information that is available, but it will also slow down your backtesting process. We will get back to that later. Right now we want to get the current close price. To do that we create a variable called close price. It's a double variable. If you hit F1 on your keyboard, you will see that it is a floating point type. That means you can have digits behind the dot and the accuracy of the double type is twice the accuracy of the float type and in that variable close price we want to store the close price for candle zero of our price information array. And remember candle zero is the unfinished candle that is the last candle that appeared on your chart. So you would expect that this expression wouldn't give you any result until this candle here is finished, but after it is finished it would immediately become candle 1. But obviously it's showing the close price here. And now we want to use the command function to output the text close price for candle 0 followed by the close price we have calculated here. Ok, our little expert advisor is finished, so let's click on the compile button here or press F7 and you should see that the code compiled without any errors and without any warnings. So now we can click the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader you want to click on view strategy tester or press ctrl and r 
And in the strategy tester panel you want to select the file simpleclosedprice.ex5, select a currency pair you like and enable the visualization option here before you click on the start button here to start your test. And actually you see the close price for candle zero is changing with every tick. That shouldn't be the case for a close price. So let's find out what is going on here. If you click on the pause button, you will see a close price. In this case, it's 38.654 and that exactly matches the calculated close price here. Now I will slow down the test and click on the play button to continue to the next tick. And now it says the close price for the candle zero has changed and it actually has. So now you know that MetaTrader 5 and MQL5 will give you the close price for candle zero for the current state of the last candle even if it isn't finished. The close price for candle zero will change with each incoming tick and you have found out how it works by coding a few lines in MQL5.